On December 7th, 2023, the Lakers whooped the Pelicans' ass in the in-season tournament. And now today, on April 16th, they narrowly defeated them in the play-in tournament. So two tournaments in one season. What's going on, guys? Thanks so much for tuning in to Late Tubes. Today's video, we are going to be recapping this electric first play-in, playoff, whatever you want to call it, basketball game of the post season it was absolutely electric zion williamson had 40 points in double digit rebounds before going down with his injury while lebron james anthony davis and the supporting cast took care of their own business guys this game was absolutely electric we're going to discuss everything with this game and then at the very end we're going to make slight predictions on the lakers and nuggets series as always guys if you're new here please be sure to consider hitting the subscribe button as it does help the channel immensely and we are going to be uploading for every single playoff game without further ado let's get straight into this talking about uh the lakers so first off good job playing in transition early you would never guess the age um of this lakers team watching the way they play in transition uh in these games uh but you would definitely notice the experience even though lebron struggled tonight as he was six for 20 from the field one for five from three-point land and then 10 for 10 from the charity stripe uh it was very there was a lot of times and a lot of moments where i was saying you can just tell lebron is a savvy veteran you can tell lebron who is just such a talented nba player he's not my goat but you just really recognize his experience the start of this game was absolutely electric jose alvarado would hit a three then d'angelo russell would hit a three then uh, austin reeves would come down and hit a three-pointer and then herb jones would hit a three it was really really remarkable watching the first quarter of this game and then in the second quarter that's where things started to go not so well for the pelicans the pelicans went five for 20 in the second quarter and the first thought i had was they are not disciplined enough to verse off against a savvy team like the los angeles lakers um it, it, there was just so many little mistakes they made obviously the double technical with jose and d'angelo uh, you could tell even going later into that game um they were just so 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 uh how do you say emotional if you will um zion james ran lebron james over so viciously if you guys haven't seen that clip please look up the lebron trying to take a charge it was so funny he folded in half um herb jones just did such a great job tonight guys sorry i'm a little all over the place with this video my notes are a little staggered i'm not really going to be talking about one team more than the other i'm just talking about what i thought was interesting uh herb jones it's remarkable that herb can get matched up on anthony davis and i can say okay this is going to be a turnover going with pelican's way um which did happen a couple times uh at the end of the third quarter i got to give so much love to trey murphy and the pelicans trey murphy took well, probably like a 35 footer maybe even more um at for the two for one opportunity and he nailed it and then at the end of the third or end of the second quarter uh what i i thought was interesting is that zion and trey got into a bit of a disagreement regarding an inbounds in which zion failed to inbound virtually wide open uh past trey young uh, but they made it up fast you know the short-term memory it wins you championships down the road it's good for team chemistry I, I was very proud to see those men just get over their differences really quick obviously in this game it sucks that brandon ingram wasn't out there to support uh you know he's on that minutes restriction coming back from the injuries dealing with his first the last game of the season was his first game back he played only in 20 25 minutes in that one as well um and i read that the pelicans said that they were going to continue to if he wasn't having any setbacks keep it going but clearly he was having those setbacks very very limited in this game tonight um you know the pelicans they they had this game right in their hands uh, an excellent end to the you know third quarter a, a pretty solid end of the fourth quarter but the start of the fourth quarter they missed five threes to start the quarter um and anthony davis dominated i mean if you're going to give a mvp to someone who just dominated in their role it's got to go to anthony davis guys six offensive rebounds tonight 15 on the night total 20 points three blocks of steal he was just absolutely everywhere and he made other than when zion was driving the restricted area and the painted position it was just very hard for the pelicans to get anything going there i think all in all in this one it boils down to the fact that i think um it's not hard to out coach uh darvin ham but i think willie green did a good job i, I think he's gonna regret um, not challenging the so-called shooting foul on lebron james if you guys watch the game you know what i'm talking about uh 
Trey Murphy barely touched him with Jose. I don't even really think he touched him because he was going straight up. And then LeBron James fell backwards and he got a foul. If you take that foul when it's not, or take that challenge when it's 95 to 95, yes, you may lose out on, you know, losing your final timeout. But there was, I think it was like two or three minutes left, guys. You gotta go for it in these playoff games, in the postseason games. Uh, my last notes on this one is just, I was very emotional seeing Zion get hurt. You could see he was playing with so much flair, so much passion, so much just absolute brilliance. Uh, you know, he was just dominating 30 points in the restricted area or in the painted position. Like Zion was brilliant, guys. I mean, you don't get 40, 11, and five a steal and a block without, you know, busting your ass. So I think the Pelicans should hopefully be able to get it back in blood in this next game, barring uh, the Kings and the um, Warriors. But let's talk about the Lakers and Nuggets, who I think is going to win that series. I think it's going to be the Denver Nuggets in five games. Uh, I really do think the Lakers could do something crazy and come out and steal one on the road. Um, but I don't think the Lakers team has changed uh, drastically in the sense that I, I just cannot see Darvin Ham accumulating a game plan where it, it's, it yields positive results in the regards of Nicole Jokic not being successful. Um, we have seen more than ever Michael Porter Jr. and the other guys just pull their way and make up for the loss of the Bruce Browns and the Jeff Greens. I think in this series and the whole playoffs, to be completely honest, the Nuggets are going to miss having Bruce Brown. They are going to miss that secondary ball handler. But I think, again, the Christian Browns, the Peyton Watsons, the Michael Porter Juniors, the Catavius Caldwell Pope, I think they are going to pay very big dividends in the series. Obviously, KCP is having an all defense of caliber season he's shooting the skin off the ball michael porter jr has played every single game this season or i think he's missed two games maybe but he's played around 80 games this season nicole Jokic is coming off an mvp campaign probably going to win the mvp jamal murray is an absolute killer in the playoffs guys he does not need to prove that to me to you your mom your grandma your daddy your uncle whoever the fuck it does not matter jamal murray's him i got the nuggets in five easy games guys but what do you think lakers fans holler at me tell me i'm wrong tell me i'm an idiot tell me i'm stupid tell me i'm crazy i know it's coming uh if you made it this far guys appreciate your support as always hope you have a great rest of your day stay happy out and blessed go lay off basketball guys tune into every fucking game you will not regret it peace